So I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for my little Cricut Joy that I bought back in February. I wanted to wait until I had used it for um, a few months. Not super consistently, but I've used it a few times and uh, I can give an honest review. Um, back when I bought it, I recorded um, unboxing it and uh, peeling off the plastic and stuff and using it for the first time. So I want to show that with you guys. Okay, so I've gone ahead and broken the video up into three different sections. So if there's a section you're more particularly interested in, then you can just skip ahead um, and watch that. So the first section is going to be the unboxing. So it's just me taking the plastic off and uh, showing you what's inside and doing a test, uh, a test cut really quick. The second section is going to be additional materials that I bought personally that I thought I needed and um, some price points for you guys if you're interested in uh, what they look like and how much they cost and where I got them. Um, the third section is going to be my actual review of the, the machine itself.
got some supplies for my new my new machine. Let's see how this goes. It's kinda sad that you buy the expensive machine and it doesn't come with any materials and the materials are kinda expensive, but um, this is what I got to get started. Um, since owning the Cricut, I have bought some additional uh, materials um, because it doesn't really come with anything at all. So I've bought um, some of these uh, colored vinyls and stuff. So I got these on Amazon. They're uh, just like a five pack, I think, or four pack. So I bought a couple of those. And they're about $30 each for a four pack. I got a variety of colors so that I wouldn't have to limit myself to certain stuff. So I got like pastels, um, some darker colors, and then uh, some metallic colors. So like the silver and the gold. I had bought black because I think that I'm going to use more black than anything and then it comes with transfer tape. It's like a two pack. You get the black and then the transfer tape. So I bought a couple of those. Um, I had bought this pack of markers for it. Uh, thinking that I was pretty genius. Um, the only problem is, is that these are smaller than the actual hole that you put the... Um, marker placement in the Cricut Joy. These are meant for like the standard Cricut. So I end up having to buy these um, like adjusters. I got an off brand. I haven't tried them yet. I didn't get the Cricut brand, but there's three different sizes for Sharpies, um, pencils, markers, whatever. So they should use, they should work for this. Um, and I also bought an extra grip mat. I bought the 12 by, I don't know, it's the, the big one, 12 by something or other. This is the standard one that comes with it. It's pretty small. Um, so I bought this extra long one for bigger projects. Uh, and so far I've used this one more than I've used this one. And this was pretty expensive too, but I bought this at uh, Joann's locally. So here's some of my materials that I have for it. So after using the Cricut for a few months, I can uh, kind of honestly say that I'm actually kind of impressed with this uh, little machine. The only thing that I that I'm not really impressed with for as far as Cricut goes is um you spend about $180, $200 on machines and they don't come with any material for you to get started with. They give you like this teeny tiny little piece of um vinyl for a test cut so you can see what it looks like, but nothing to really get started. So that's the only drawback here is that you're going to spend a lot of money on um, the product itself and then you're going to spend a lot of money on tools and then vinyl or whatever it is that your project is. So expect to spend about $400 or more just to get started. And then the products are pretty expensive so um, I'm kind of looking for alternatives that still work with the Cricut machine and so far there's a lot of other options for vinyl out there. But outside of the um, money aspect that's, that's a drawback for this, um, it's fast, it's really quiet, it's really easy to set up, and it's Bluetooth, so you don't have to have it connected to your computer by a port, so you don't have to have a special space for this. You can just kind of set it aside, do some stuff on a computer, tablet, phone, whatever, so um, it's pretty versatile for that aspect. So I went with this, this smaller machine because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, and I wasn't sure that I wanted to spend $300 or $400 on the Cricut Maker. The, the bigger machine. So I went with this little one to kind of try it out and see if I like it. And so far it it does what I want it to so um, no problems there. 
If you're into making cups and like tumblers and stuff, this might not be the version that you need because it's kind of a mini scale. It's very small. As you can see, I can I can hold it in both my hands pretty easily. It's pretty small. So um, if you're, you know, making quite a few cups and stuff, it's probably not ideal for you.